Hi, Salmon. Hi. How much is the book? Bibili ako ngayon na nganga sa araw na to. At ako'y maganganga today. Hello everyone! I'm at Long Island right now and I'm going to make a challenge for myself since I've been here for quite some time in Palau and I never tried to chew here. So this time, this very day, I'm going to challenge myself to do chewing. Pilaw nat chewing. But before I'm going to further uh, talk about chewing, I would like to inform everybody that uh, chewing here in Palau is uh, quite normal and it's the way that they do it. It's like it's part of their tradition already. But in the Philippines, we also have some people who chew betel nut, but you seldom see it now. And if you want to find them, you can find them somewhere to some remote places in the Philippines. Even the place where I came from, we also have some people who chew over there. But anyway, uh, I don't really encourage chewing for everybody because uh, not all of us can get used to it. But I will try and see how it affects me and if it's really true na lamit lagi daw mag chew. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what I mean is uh, chewing it's like also a coffee as what I've heard. It will give you a boost of energy and at the same time it will make your teeth um, stronger. That's what I've heard but um, it's also have some harmful effects later on if you chew too much. So uh, in everything that we do, we always have to do it like uh, as, as what they said, too much of everything is bad. So uh, everything that we do it moderately is not really harmful as long as you know how to limit yourself and how to control yourself. So I will start uh, uh, showing you everybody here. Uh, this is the way we used to put our. This is like a chew box that they usually uh, carry here in Palau. If you see some people, uh, especially the locals here, uh, sometimes they put their uh, chew, uh, their betel nut, in a container like this, or they just put it in their like small purse or they put it in the plastic but today I'm going to use hobby box for chewing and I will see what's inside this box Ta <laughs> this is what we have in the box sorry for the lighting because it's really sunny here and uh, um, uh, we're on the shave so I don't get much sun. Sun. Anyway, this is the leaf. They call it the betel nut leaf. Uh, in uh, the place uh, here in Palau, they call it the kabuy. So, it smells really good. And we also have this in the Philippines, but I'm not really sure what they call this one. But we call it the leaf. And this is the lime. And these are the nanga. <laughs> these are the bunga. This is the bunga. And also have here. Uh, a while ago, I went to the store to buy some of uh, this uh, betel nut. And it's quite expensive, actually, if you're really going to think of it. Because usually, uh, one pack like this, uh, it's only like a half day when they chew and there's 10 pieces. So if you're a heavy chewer, it will not last you for the whole day for this one pack. And also, have a cigarette here. This cigarette doesn't have any name on it. It's just uh, fresh. Uh, it's made here in Palau and it's rolled here in Palau. It's a local tobacco that they do over here, that they plant over here and they make it like this. But not a lot of people are using this uh, 
kind of cigarette there are also people it depends on what kind of cigarette they would like to put and for me today i will try to use this one so first i'm going to take one of these cigarettes and i already i saw it before and how they do it so i will try if i know how to do it but i will just try and see what it tastes like and then because the petal nut is quite quite big so it's actually you know i cannot chew it the whole thing so i have to to cut it and then um, take out the meat here in Palau when they have a custom that they're doing or they have gatherings in the house everybody's doing this one and you know uh, it's, it's quite fun to see them how they do it but I'm afraid how to cut it I'm scared because the knife is a bit sharp i might going to cut my finger as well <laughs> how to do it anyway so that it chop 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 there you go bye, bye, bye. there's a this is how it looks like there's something uh there's some meat inside and then you take out the meat parang master na ako alam na alam ko na hindi nagtatry lang ngayon lang naman to so you take out the the meat mmm smells good actually so and then you take out the meat and I also have to take this crown I almost forgot I'm not going to chew this crown over here the crown of the nut should have be should take out this one and now it's clean it's like this and then I put the lime I don't know how how much lime I'm gonna have to put. I put the lime on it. And then what's next? I guess it's the cigarette. Some people they don't put cigarette, they just put lime and then they put the leaf. And other people also, some people they don't use the leaf because the leaf will going to make uh, your lips red and uh, I think today I'm going to use the leaf because I want my lips to get red so that I look attractive <laughs> just joking so here we go and <laughs> you want to chew okay no <clears throat> okay and then so I put the leaf like this I think it's too big but I will try very simple it looks like this mm -hmm. sorry about the lighting because I can have the shadow I'm underneath the talisai tree small talisai tree uh, I think it's talisai we have this tree in the Philippines as well they grow near to the uh, to the to the sandy sandy beach and anyway so got it here and then I have to put it here and watch until I finish my chew why you finish your chew yeah hmm ew ew it's not bad actually Tastes like chew. Mmm. You 
get me an old bowl, jo Joseph, please. <laughs> Kinakantsawan ako ng bata dito. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Para akong suka. Usually when you're chewing, you have to have a, a can or a, a bottle that where you can spit because uh, it's not nice to spit everywhere. But anyway, nobody here, so I will try to spit over here. Um, so, it's got a spicy taste on it, and it's actually a strange taste, you know. If you're not used to it, you really like going to puke, but it's normal. It's like um, putting a palaya in my mouth. <laughs> Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, you develop, you produce a lot of saliva in your mouth. Just a second, I'm sorry. It makes my, as you notice, started to get really red. Red in my lips. And if you prolong chewing, it will make your teeth uh, um, red as well so but if you know how to take care of your teeth when you chew some other people they don't have those stains in their teeth as well it depends on how you take it out or how you take care of your of your teeth mm. okay Nasira ang mukha ko. Uh -huh. mm. hmm? I don't know if I can get used to this one, but I think this is uh, one of the habits that I cannot do. It's quite uh, different, you know, but I can feel something here. Looks like I'm energized. Looks like I just uh, drank coffee. And, hmm, we'll see. I have a pretty good taste, but uh, this is quite hard. It makes your mouth really like orangey. But, uh, it's true what they said. It gives you, it gives you an energy, and as what they said, that if you have some problem in digestion, this one really helps. And also, it will help you to have a rush feeling when you're chewing. Ew! Sorry, I just spit right there. Today is a beautiful day. I just challenged myself in chewing here in Palau. And I don't know, but I don't encourage anyone over there watching at home. Please don't chew if you're not used to chewing. Don't chew. You can try it once just for an experience, but don't make it as a habit if you're not used to it or if you don't really practice where you are. I think that's enough. This is what happened. Ah, 
I think I need a drink or I have to gurgle something. But uh, now I understand. If you're not a coffee drinker and you're chewing, it's like you're drinking coffee also. And uh, it's not bad actually after. But the first uh, chew that I did, it's quite strange because it's quite hard. It's crunchy and you can really hear it crack. So this is it. See, my mouth is quite red now. Mm. <laughs> I still have my teeth. I think my teeth still strong but chewing really is not my cup of tea so uh, for you guys there watching I hope you like my video for today thank you and I hope you like my video uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get updated if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe thank you and have a good day everyone update right now of uh, how it feels in my mouth um, it's not that bad it's actually quite okay I feel relaxed and I don't know I still have to think of do I have to chew or not but I guess I will not chew for time being <laughs> Just for today, I'm just trying to chew, but not anything for any more. <laughs>